I mean, I, I don't know where he is, Nick. I, I, we may, we, I, I mean, this dude's always around California time. I know he's three hours behind us, East Coast, Beast Coast time here. But, like, dude, this he is getting ridiculous. stuck in the vault. Yeah, maybe stuck in the vault. I mean, <laughs> what could that dude be doing right now? He knows we always record now. Taking a bath in my macabre shirt. Taking a bath, washing away the dirt. You're so dirty, Brooklyn Bob. You need to get you a microbrother shirt. Why have any holes in it or anything? Okay, almost done. Matt was right, this is the best. Okay, who are the last two in the, in the bubble? Bubble brawl. Oh, look who it is. Oh, Okada version one is better. I was first, and I'm so detailed. No! Okada version 2 is better. I'm silky and smooth. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Quit looking at me, invisible rich one, like Rebellion who's yet to be released. You're watching DC TV. Here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. Welcome to my house. Gentlemen, welcome back to my house. Welcome back to the Dave Cave, and most importantly, welcome back to the Micro Brawler broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. It is great to be back for episode four, right? Four is that what we're on, Nick? That's right. Yes, we are waiting on our our Micro Brawler scholar, Mister Crossley. But if you have been paying attention to my posts and the videos here on YouTube and in the Facebook group, we are not alone this week, ladies and gentlemen, because making history here as our Fourth horseman, technically third right now as we wait for California Crossley. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first ever guest, Mr. Jason Rich. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Jason, Jason what's up? Jason, hey, it is a here. pleasure to have you on here. We appreciate your punctuality for being here. Like we said, we are awaiting the arrival of Mr. Crossley oh yet to I'm make it to the building. Uh, what is that? What the? Me. Hey, guys. Hey, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks for showing up. What? I'm here. What? What's on your head? What's up? Um, <laughs> I have a, do you have a Snapchat filter on me right now? Maybe. No, no, no. This is this isn't a courthouse with a judge and a cat. No, we're 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 the least professional podcast out there, but we're not that unprofessional. But like I said, we have Jason with us today, our first ever guest. We held a contest in which um, they said, with Ryan Barkin said tomorrow and we wanted to know what you all thought was going to happen what would drop and so i said the first person to comment on the past video would get to be on and nobody got it by the time they went on sale so jason went on afterward and i didn't put a cutoff time and snuck in there the sneaky little bastard got in there and he put macho man brawlers he won the contest so jason welcome to the show i mean i am a patriot fan so cheating is my nature i guess Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa. Just saying. I'm Champions. Gonna... Champions. Uh, you're, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. We, I'm really happy. But so, yes, we, we are we are, a, we are a foursome today. We don't just have a logo sitting there in the corner this time or cheap graphics. It's going to be the easiest one to edit probably. Unless I decide to like pop stuff up in the middle. Who knows? But so Ryan Barkin is at it again uh, and put in the Pro Wrestling Tees VIP group Next week is going to be crazy. Anybody have a guess as to what it's going to be? Because I'm broke. So let's hope for stickers. Yeah, hopefully not micro brawler related. But if it is, if your wallet's ready, fellas. <laughs> You'll buy them. We know you will. Jason, what, um, what do you think it's going to be? I really hope it's the belt that they were talking about. I mean, because I'm, I'm not a belt collector. And I know AEW talking about making the belt. And uh, that would save me a lot of cash. You, you, but, but I mean, we, we got the $20. The only thing I've been able to find at Walmart is not the, the figures. I found the belt. I had no problem. Found the belt. That's oh, I sitting upstairs. No, I, I have no problem finding the figures, as you can see in the background. We get it. Okay. <laughs> very cool. Okay. Who invited this guy on the show? Seriously. God, we got we to gotta get some better guests. They're more professional guests. <laughs> hey, wink, wink. Uh, Ryan, 
I have a feeling you work for Pro Wrestling Tees. What do you What do you think it is? I, I always say that's uh, yeah, that's my slogan. I'm Ryan C. I know you know Ryan B knows everything. Ryan C. <laughs> not so much. Um, I I got my belt from Walmart, so I'm good on an AEW belt. I, yeah. I hope it's a belt so I can get a break as well. I'm thinking maybe they like the AEW Wave One sales. I kind of feel like it might be Wave Two, maybe. Now they now the pre-sale was last week. Technically, it ended today. KFA, we record on a Thursday. Um, but like, when when did they? Is, was that as a pre-sale? Did they go on to the sale to the public as well. I don't I don't remember how that worked. I think I've seen it. was just like limited quantities. And- so it was like so it was like the like as soon as the cutoff date of one p.m. the eighteenth, whatever it was. That's it. No more buying after that. So it could be wave two. It could be an 18th uh, Macho Man variant. We could do that. Uh, you know, I'd be I'd be all for that. I think I think it's probably going to be brawler related somehow. I do too. I brawler just know. stickers. Yeah, I know it's going to be. <laughs> my my account knows that it's it's tax season, but it's also brawler season all the time. I feel like Ryan Barkin gets on Facebook and's like, I'm going to watch them burn. Just watch it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think he I think he enjoys the fact that like I hide in my office at work. I hope my boss doesn't watch. It's like it's eleven o'clock. Like the day the Macho Man thing went on sale, I just kept running into my office every two hours. One's like, is everything okay? I was like, Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Why is why is the village people blaring out of your office every two hours? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So but so so we'll see what happens next week. If we're all, you know, rich or poor or, you know. I'm, I'm excited. You know, I love when these things drop. It gives us something to look forward to, seeing as we have nothing else to look forward to. Yeah. This time last year, I was getting ready for, like, to go to the Newark show for AEW Dynamite, and then the world shut down. So this gives us something, at least. So yeah. So we with, – with our first ever guest, we allowed Jason to pick whatever topic he wanted to talk about. And before we do, I would like to address the elephant in the room. Okay. The box of brawlers that we displayed last week. We'll throw that picture up here somehow. I don't know whether it'll be a full screen, color, portion screen, but you just have all your brawlers in a bin. Yes, Can I explain? do. You've got um, beautiful displays by the three of us. And yeah, then you got um, yours. Yeah. So <laughs> I have a dog that is half lab, half Great Dane. Okay. No matter where I put them in the house, that tail hits them. <laughs> I thought and you were going to say hits, he just bites him. Oh, no, no. When it hits the floor, that's when I'm like, can I have my brawler back? So he's, he's eating it. <laughs> yeah, so I, I've, I've been a loose collector. I used to have them set up. I mean, I keep everything I have loose, except for the couple of signed ones I have uh, behind me. But, yeah, I, I got to let them breathe. But just right now, I don't have any place to put them where the dog won't eat them. Yeah. Like I said, I, like I said last week, I, I, the new case looks great, the new bubble and whatnot, you know, but you can't display all those bagged ones any way, really, with the exception of like how Dougie had his kind of like with the bat backlit and the baseball bat case. That looked really cool. Everything else, I forget who show, uh, whose picture it was. I'm sorry, but they had like that. Uh, what'd you say they're called from Ikea, Nick? The display case? The tossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody had it, in, but they were autographed, and they're just laying flat. I'm like, here's this great thing. Like, I have a baseball card upstairs. I have a Roger Maris baseball card, and it has a piece of his uniform from the 1961 season. That thing is beautifully hung in my room like this. Like, I'm not going to lay it flat like that. No one can really see, you know. But that's just me and my nitpickiness. I was going to say I tried uh, – I asked my wife I, the, uh, the cases they have. I put a baggie in a case, you know, because uh-huh. I – I was curious how that might look. I asked my wife. She says it doesn't look good. So I don't know. That was, that was a tactic that I was going to try. Yeah. But, you know, again, that's just me. Display them how you want. I'm not here to judge. I'm not going to be like Simon Gallon, American Idol. Like, it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> display looks like crap. You should be embarrassed and should sell everything. I don't know what that accent was. I'm so sorry to everyone. Unless it's a box of brawlers. Unless it's a box of brawlers. Then I will. But if you come on the show, I will gladly critique your display <laughs> case. But. Fine. So, and, and also, have there, have there been that, any casualties though with the dog? You said, have there, have there been micro brawler casualties actually? Luckily, I catch them quick enough okay, that I'm just good. like, okay, uh, let me just wipe this slobber off. And yeah. okay. does your dog I, have I'm a favorite brawler? brawler? I see him eyeing the two up. Oh, <laughs> of course, because that Marty looks like a dog toy. Oh, yeah, he's just <laughs> like, that would just be so much fun. 
He's like, this guy talks about his dog, Winston, all the time. He's got a shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and, and also, again, we are, at, at a, as of press time, I believe we're at 86 subscribers on this channel. I'm looking it up right now. And we've, we've threatened action every time. We want to get, oh, I'm sorry, we're at 88 subscribers right now. 88 subscribers. DC TV, Dave Canning, check it out. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, and so last week, Nick opened an Iron Sheik, a very limited edition Iron Sheik. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna threaten action. I'm going to open this Tommy Dreamer. But then I said, oh, you know well, what? That's, that's not whoa. big enough. Whoa, that's, that's too limited, man. This is, this is, ex this is extremely <laughs> limited. Okay. Okay, you know what? But hey, you got since, something better? Since I'm a guest, can I, can I offer to open one? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. What, I just what do you got, got this one in the mail. I just got this one in the mail. It's what do you got, Bruce Beefcake? Uh, no, I mean, this little guy right here. Ooh. Oh my God! This uh, <laughs> I've heard. I've heard this is pretty rare. I don't oh know. God. I mean, yeah. calm down, man. We we don't want to get canceled already. But I, I mean, mean I, I'm a loose fan. That's how I've always lived my life. It's been so long since I opened it. I don't remember how to. I mean, you just. Oh my God! He's gonna rip the whole header. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> you should have had the dog open it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God! That is beautiful. Look at that. You do realize that if they do release an AEW title belt, you could have traded that for the belt, right? Quack. <laughs> Go back. <in. laughs> Wait, we'll put oh, we'll, we'll put in the prices right music right here. <laughs> uh, oh well, your dog will have another toy to play with. Um, exactly. But speaking of something to play with, uh, it is new in the pro wrestling crate as of now. Um, they introduced it last month, and this month will be no different. We are now getting chase variants in all the in the pro wrestling uh, crates. Um, last month was Jake the Snake Roberts. Spoiler alert: unless you haven't paid attention, it's going to be Owen Hart this month in blue and red trunks, right? Something like that. Yeah, think okay, so. yeah. blue and red trunks. Um, and then, but before that, variants have been throughout pro wrestling, uh, the micro brawlers. Um, we've got so many, obviously, like we talked about the macho man, six drop, make it seven. If you include the macho King, uh, I just made a, a brief list here. So feel free to yell at me. If I miss anyone, we have the Cody Rhodes. We have the blonde in the suit. We have, uh, both young bucks, the gray, and then the purple and yellow, uh, the Okada that was in a crate. And then the golden Okada that was available on the website, we have Marty Skrull, the account three, because he's obviously got the masked one, the unmasked one, and then the two up. Well, if you look at the two up, the two up is a brown jacket and the small one's a gray jacket. Okay. So so do you count that as a variant? That's uh, a different color jacket. Okay, then. It's also a different size altogether. That's it, yeah. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, Vader. Obviously, those have been coming out. Mine will be here Monday, I think. My mask masked it on. Um, and my original Vader that I bought from Mr. Crossley. Thank you, sir. Uh, we've got okay. Owen Hart. What do you got? Oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I, was wearing, hey, I was wearing the, uh, the that sleeve thing. What do they call those things? The gator. The, the, the I, sh gator. I should have had it. I wore it today. I it got, I'll have to tell you guys offline. I, I was called some weird things. They, they didn't like it at work. <laughs> Spoiler alert, when he's not wearing the gator, he gets called weird things anyway. Very true. <laughs> So we obviously have Owen Hart, we had Jake Roberts. Uh, in the past grade, we had the Road Warriors and the LOD with the black pads and the red pads. Um, the major pod guys with all their variants and their stomp. Uh, Swaggle, who's in that major pod four pack. Colt Cabana, as we just saw, Pentagon, Chris Hero, and Naito. Am I missing anyone? I got a few if you want. Oh, yeah, well, sure. No, the the micro-brawler scholar, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I wrote it all down. If you you guys can go off the top of your head if you want, let's see. Oh, I wrote everything down because I can't remember. I, I damn cheated. Time. I cheated. What do you got? Okay, um, let's see. Chronological order. Uh, oh, that, excuse <laughs> me. I had time. I had time today. I mean, I printed it out. I went through it. I too many notes. Uh, we got Omega. Oh yeah. Duh. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah, we got uh, Joey Ryan. Okay. We have, well, I know Nick had said, you know, it's debatable. Jeff Cobb variant. I count that. And I think that's really, because what was, how did that happen? That was just like a production error? 
Yeah. In which they, the, the black they, undershirt? Yeah. <clears throat> I the count. Thing with the uh, crazy. Colt Cabana's elbow pad ended up like, was a factory error also. Was it but, the original? Yeah, this is the one answer I could never get a, a straight answer from. Because red so when, is the original that, that came out in the crate, and I think okay. the white was like a reorder. That okay. some of these guys, like like Vicky Guerrero's new one, and like the oh, yeah. black and white horn swoggle and That's stuff right. like that. Those were all like the, they make them for the wrestler to sell on like their pages and like their merch stand and stuff. So they get a lot of like these like I guess Ryan calls them the colorway variants or whatever. Okay. Man, now I really because I told you guys uh, this uh, uh, in our group, but I met um, uh, Flip Gordon at the last wrestling show I went to before the world shut down last year in January in uh, Waterbury, Connecticut, and I got to meet him. And I noticed he was selling microballs, and this is before I started like really collecting, but like I had them saved. I was like, oh man, it's really cool. It'd be cool to get one from the guy himself. Little kid in front of me bought the last one. Yeah. Oh, we can take a picture though. <laughs> Not the same, but Jason, are you, know, you are you completionist? By the way, no, no, I'm no. not a completionist. I'm slowly trying to get a couple of the big ones down, like the big boys. Like I'm That's talking right. currently. Uh, how much time do you have left in that eBay auction? By the way, um, um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's check this out. I just want to like it'd be really cool if it happened like on camera. It's like I got it. Oh no, I got like an hour left on it. Oh, uh, okay. So we will, we will not have that result. But yeah, yeah for those of you who aren't aware, Jason is currently in an auction, a live eBay auction. So go out bid him. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, going, right for, going for Ricky Steamboat, you said? Yeah. I got a the first time you said I thought you said Ricky Starks. I was like, there's a brawler for Ricky Starks? I want a Give Ricky a Starks brawler. Give it time. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not I'm – not like, I don't have – I don't – like I just got the Penta. I don't have uh, Steamboat. Of course, I don't have Hero, Xbox, and G Billy Gunn. Like those are like – those, those are my you would actually racks. have to sell your kids. That's not even a joke. You have to sell your children. And, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with that. Um Dude, there, there is one variant that I would love to have that is only one, and that is the Hornswoggle 2-Up. Did you, have you heard about this one? No. So Ryan this is breaking. Barkin, yeah, Ryan Barkin, when he sent the thing to get Hornswoggle made, they uh, sent back Hornswoggle regular size, like the regular size of these. And like so, so the equivalent of a regular size brawl. Exactly. Not like I joked about that. I was like, oh, they need to make a horn swoggle two up and just have it the regular size. And so it's regular size. And he, he's talked about it on the, uh, the Twitch with the major podcast, talking about how he has a swoggle two up. Wow. Uh, I did not know about that. That's pretty awesome. New and homie. Was, I know, that's, yeah. <laughs> that might be worth more than Xbox. So what, what shirt was he wearing in it? Was it the, I, I, I know, I don't remember which of the two are more valuable. I don't know. It may have been, I think the, the the King of Small Style, I think that's the one most rare. That's one. the one that came in the original wave. I think what was it, wave one or two or whatever. So, yeah, because, one, yeah. so small because style the, is the more valuable of the two. Colors. They're all. Yeah. They're all. Valuable. I know they're, they're all pretty rare. valuable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, the gray one, the gray one is the wrestling or famous wrestling midget that he has on there. Yeah, and then they have the, they have the, just the regular that other one that uh, looks just like the King of Small Style. Like the non gray yeah. one, mm -hmm. and then the naked one in the four pack too. What, yeah. what I said they, they need to do, they need to make because I know like there was like the joke on Macho Man Day, like oh they got to get another like Swoggle variant to like tie him with Macho Man because Swoggle had had the most. I was like I've seen the picture of him at like Live Six, I think it's called, like where he's just like drunk on like the yeah. Bell oh, yeah. part of the hotel. <laughs> I was yeah. like I need that. I'd, I'd buy that brawler. <laughs> If that is in the major crate, I will pop huge. <laughs> but but you know what? This is like how we're gonna also talk about one day accessories. You want to see with brawlers? You could have that brawler of him just sitting like this, but then you get like an additional like the bellhop car would be like the first accessory. Yeah, so, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so, did do we have any other variants, Ryan? I was going to say when Jason brought that up, I spaced the uh, the Hornswoggle 2 up, but they also mentioned uh, Myers, right? There was the first one came out too red, the hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking that, about that today. So the super fire red hair of Myers exists. Is, I don't know, is it still in, at the factory, I think? I don't know. No, yeah, I remember he, Ryan sitting on it. He's like, I got to figure out what to do with this, but it's like fire red hair Myers. He didn't like it. Now yeah. is that is that his <laughs> his stomp roll or the or the ones that came out after like the non stomps? I think it might have been the non stomps. 
Okay. I thought so. That's my yes, thought. Cause... No, go go ahead. I was just gonna say I'll have to rewatch that uh, that video of Barkin and Cardona because yeah, I don't recall. Yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very intrigued on that now. There's there's <laughs> mystery brawlers we don't know about. Like this you is know, why we need like real ins. When when you ask about being a completionist, I thought about the night. How many complete sets are do you think are over in Hong Kong? That's and over so what? Much. Over in Hong Kong, because they make the brawlers in Hong Kong. Oh. So, so how many people do you think are like, hey, this is pretty cool? Just like putting in the bag and taking it. And then, and then they're just throwing to them their dog at night. Like, oh, just here, chew yeah. on this for a little while. It'll be fun. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'd be curious. I want to – I would love to get a number between the micro brawler group and even the pro wrestling tees VIP group. Like, how many people can say, as of now, they are completionists? Because, Nick, you didn't get a Jake Chase, right? Uh, well, uh – Oh, oh, the week, uh, not yet, but I've been making some offers and going back and forth, and I'm getting a lot closer. Let's put it this way: I have it way under a hundred dollars now for wow. people. Yeah. I'm still trying. I have a number in my head, and then I want to go there, but might have to sell. Time that, is my friend, and these things are rotten on eBay, so we'll see. Yeah, they are. They're <laughs> definitely going down in price. So, because what what would we say is probably like the most expensive variant out there? Would it be Jake right now? Probably right now, I would say. I mean, because because that went for over hundred dollars, and know. like I and like I said a few weeks ago, I would honestly, if I get a chase in my pro wrestling crate, and remember, you can watch those videos when I do unbox them. Yeah, I'm gonna trade that sucker in for the the regular and then some. So I mean, oh, that's yeah. that's because Jace, what did what did you think about the first Chase Brawler of Jake? Would you what did you did you you get the crate right? Yeah, I get the crate. Did did you get the Chase or did you get the blue tights? So I got the blue tights because I knew if I got the Chase and I threw it up there, uh, Ryan Crossley would be like, um, "Hi, hi, remember all those hookups?" <laughs> and I would I would feel <laughs> like I would feel like because me and Ryan have had such a good working relationship with brawlers i would have to give him the chase for something give him the chase no 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 oh, you for you something. give him the chase and he gives you a lot back okay this, that's right this is this is that lions and rams matt stafford jared goff trade we're getting draft picks in this we're taking everything um, See, but now but now when it comes to owen that's the one chase that i do want because i was a huge owen fan growing up have they announced which favorite. one is the chase I think yeah. the, uh, I don't have any fun of I wrote it down. I had to check my phone. They said the red's the chase. I wasn't yeah, certain. I was thinking the red. Again, the most unprepared podcast, but we're having <laughs> fun. Uh, yeah, so I, like, neither one of them really sticks out. Like, if it was blue tights and then, like, blue with checkers, checkered stripes on the side, oh, a little yeah. high energy action, sign me up for that. And you'll see where I go with a little high energy later on. I guarantee that. <laughs> um, so I, I thought I would run down really quick. I'll, I'll throw out some variants and just go around really quick. If you had to choose one or the other, which variant you like more. So I'm going to, I'm going to go around. We'll start with, um, we'll start with Cody. Do we like him blonde or in the suit more? Ooh. Well, I like him in the suit more. I I'm like the suit, suit more too. too I think the suit also. I'm the weirdo blonde. I mean, blondes do have more fun, you know. So that's just, yeah, my hair just looks really crap in this light. It is blonde, I swear. Uh, Young Bucks, do we like purple and yellow or the gray ones? Gotta go purple and yellow. Yeah, I, I like, the, ones, the, I like the that that color pops to me more. Those are like some of the first brawlers I ever got. This yeah. is a tough one for me because I think Nick, you and I had the Okada brawler on our favorite top three, but like you had the regular Okada, I had the golden Okada as my favorite. And then Ryan's about to pull out the gold. Oh, he's got both right there because he is the scholar. <laughs> Where have I seen that action before? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so I, Jason, who, who do you like better, the, the regular Okada or the golden Okada? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the regular Okada. I think the gold one is just – it pops more, but I think mm. with the detail the and the detail. different colors, oh, it's so nice. I remember, I think, I like to think that that brawler, like I didn't, like when I got that brawler, what, two, three years ago at this point, like I hadn't, I had heard of Okada. I think I had seen like highlights of him in Omega, but like I never sat down and watched him. And then I did. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. Uh, Marty, 
what? What was that? Oh, sorry. You you got Okada in December 2018 crate because I'm the micro brother scholar. <laughs> that he's got Google in front of him. Okay. Yeah, I gotta try. I gotta try and earn. I gotta try and earn that. <laughs> I'm falsest, just gonna come up with. Tri- I'm gonna come up with trivia questions to ask you each week and like just see if you can figure it out. Falsest nickname ever. But so I'm you trying. know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a trivia question right now, and we'll relate it back later again with my top three. WrestleMania nine, 1993. What building? Was it held in? My I, my phone's messing up. Whoops. <laughs> nice try. Anybody else want to chime in? Oh, yeah. And you should be ashamed because Bret Hart was in the main event that in that mania. Well, te- no, I'm sorry, he was in the semi main technically. Wait, okay, wait. Nine, nine was uh, Caesar's Palace. Yes. See, just need to be guided along there. It's just, my favorite yeah. mania. It's it's my favorite mania. I'll be honest. Okay, so back to our list. Vader, masked or unmasked? Has anybody gotten their masked Vader in yet? I don't know if I mind, no. yeah. So I guess we got to wait on that. Uh, Jake, we all said blue, I think. Blue tights. Yeah. Anybody, anybody want black more? Mm-hmm. Road Warriors, red pads or black pads? Oh, that's a hard one. I go See, red, red pads. For, yeah, it's red for me. That's my childhood right there. Yeah, that's yeah. – I mean <laughs> – yeah, because like I always saw like these are like what are they why why are they dressed like that? Why are they not wearing red? That's weird. Although, like I said, I've asked Stankin for this in the past. Like if we could get um, a variant of the Road Warriors from SummerSlam '92, because I wore those spikes when I met Animal at WrestleCon in 2019. I was like, mm-hmm. his assistant is putting them on me. I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm four years old, man. I got the pads on. I can feel the power. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh... He asked me, he's like, do you want to wear these? And I was like, honestly, I was like, I don't feel like I'm worthy enough. And he's like, all right. Like, well, okay, I thanks. Threw, I threw those pads on and my sister got to hold the, the old school tag title belt. My sister like weighs nothing. And she just goes, whoop, this is really heavy. So uh, let's see who else we got. Colt Cabana. We've got a red elbow pad, a white elbow pad, a jacket. Is there I like another the jacket. one? Yeah, the jacket's pretty good. <laughs> I like the red elbow pad because I bought it from David Stankin. That's just me. Yeah, you stole that from me. Oh, is uh, it you I stole it? Oh, I, like... I, I didn't know. I figured that was the one I wanted, you know, because I'm like, get the original brawler signed by the designer. I, That's I didn't, exactly yeah. why I wanted it. I uh, looked at that. I looked at his tables. I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's any like in my price range of cheap. And he's, you know, yeah. it was a reasonable price, fair ass price. I'm like, wait, so you designed this. You're going to sell it to me, and you'll sign the bottom? I'll take it. One of my favorite brawlers that I have in there. That's awesome. Uh, it really is. It's rare. It's, it's one of the few pieces of art I own. <laughs> uh, Pentagon. Black and white versus the golden white, black Ooh. thing. Um, got right here. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the all white because I've now seen a man open a $100 bill in front of me. It's impressive. Uh, I got here, $100. What's that? Was I got which was hundred dollars. Gold. gold. That was my very first micro bra. That's right. I remember you telling me about that. that. I have to go with the gold. Uh, Chris Hero, you got white versus black elbow pad. I think it is. I, I think uh, the black because I think that's the one I have. I can never remember which. But I had the white I one. Spent, I had the new one. Oh yeah, that's okay. That is okay. That's what I meant. Whichever one that came in the crate within the last couple months. That's yeah. And then we've I spent got two years searching for the the black and purple ones, so I got to go with that was like my <laughs> white whale for the longest time. <laughs> and then so. we've got Naito in a t-shirt versus a suit. Ooh, that's another one. Casual versus business casual. Uh, what do you guys think? I go with the crate. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I was saying I go with the crate with the black Lij shirt myself. I like the white suit, honestly. Yeah. I think it just it's looks dirty. I feel like the, the mustache on the one with the shirt, like the mustache runs oh, into the right. shirt. And it's kind of weird. And with the suit, I think it, it looks a lot oh. better, in my opinion. So we are we are at our 30-minute warning, so we got 10 minutes left. All so right. that is going to do it for the uh, that portion. We'll, we'll stop the variance right there. Uh, but so – we are going to give our top three Tuesday and our top three Tuesday this week is going to be a variance. We want to see that um, of wrestlers who don't have. A <coughs> so obviously 
no Bucks, no Macho Man, no Vader, Okada, et cetera, et cetera. So, Jason, you are our guest this week. Tell me your top three Tuesday of a variant you want to see. Okay, so sticking with the top three, all three of my guys, there's three variants for each of them. I would love to see Typhoon, Ooh. Um, Tugboat, and the Shockmaster. That'd okay. Be three to see. Um, and then uh, Booker T, Harlem Heat Booker T, and then uh, King Booker. No GI bro? No, nah, not GI bro. I mean, who just Bad stand Bad Bunny, there? Booker T? Come on, just stand no, no. like this? And, and then I think, I think my number one that I'd want to see that I think they can have so much fun with would be Brian Pillman. Ooh. Do the, the Bengals flying Brian, Hollywood blonde Brian, and then do the loose cannon like with a crutch. I wish I was going to say, I don't know if you can like, <laughs> put a gun in his hand. I don't think you could do that. Unless they put like the, the super soaker that like Cardone and Myers had. Yeah, but like him with the crutch with the crazy wild eyes, that'd be, that would be like top. Yeah, that would be I, awesome. awesome. So, Nick, why don't you give us your top three Tuesday next? All right. Well, I did it a little different, and I did brawlers that we already have that we could get variants for. Okay. So, I went with uh, a young Andre the Giant, like Afro okay. Andre. Yes. I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, MJF. I'm not really the biggest fan of MJF they made. I think it's kind of Brodus Clay looking, honestly. <laughs> to me. So, I just would love to see them try to do maybe like one in wrestling gear, maybe just try to take another shot at him. And stuff. Okay. And finally, uh, good old Sex Ferguson. Because <laughs> now we have a uh, Luke Gallows. You need a Chad Ferguson. Too Bad in there. Chad Too Bad, get them all. The uh, Luchador. Uh, why am I brain farting? Uh, Rocky. What is Rocky's all? El Chico. El Chico. El Chico. Yes. El Chico. yes. <laughs> so that's that's three. Did we do three? Yep. Is that three? Okay. Perfect. So Ryan, who do you okay. got? We got seven minutes uh -huh. left. Okay, uh, I was trying to do different ones if someone repeated just like Garrett's uh, Top 5 Tuesday. So I'm going to go Chelsea Green. She's due for a new one. I was, was going to say due for a makeover, and that's not how I meant it. I just mean she <laughs> looks different. Yeah, no, I get it. I get, I get what you're saying there. Um, uh, Flip Gordon as well. He's due for – Got to get the, the mercenary with the gas mask. That'd be cool. Okay. And then – Hangman Page. I mean, it would look a lot more. Well, now he has new gear. Before, yes, he does have pants. Full. He yeah. went on lower yeah. third, has pants on. I want two of every brawler. I want entrance gear and ring gear. But that they gold is like a little bar. <laughs> I'd be all. I'd be all for those. So my top three. Um, this all goes to my childhood. I've given hints on everything already. So first one I want is a Coco Beware high energy brawler with the eventual Owen to match, because I feel like we're not done with Owen brawlers yet. I feel like they can do no. more. Uh, then we've got Brutus, the barber beefcake with the face mask when he broke his nose at mania nine mm -hmm. to go next to my mega power uh, macho man. That's coming in. I could pretend it's Hulk Hogan. And then I, I think I messaged Jason about this when we were talking about this and it could happen in, okay. in the March crate. It could very well happen because Repo Man is going to be in the March crate. And I think Repo Man off of Barry Darso would be really awesome. Yep. I thought Repo Man was amazing. I was like, look at this man coming out with a freaking mask like that. Like, he he's a Repo Man by day and wrestler. Like, that was the first time I can truly say, like, I literally bought the gimmick wrestler thing as a kid. I was like, he repos cars and he comes and wrestles. How cool is that? Like, anybody can do that. So let us know your top three Tuesday in the comment section below while you're there. The subscribe button is right next to it. So why don't you hit subscribe while you're here? Like the, uh, why don't you join the micro brawler fan group, uh, micro brawler fan group, over 600 members and growing every day. Uh, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends. And again, subscribe. And again, Jason, thank you so much for coming on this show. I didn't think when we started this crazy thing, the most unprepared podcast in the world, yeah. that anybody would want to come on. My first goal was to get a guest, and you get to be that goal set. So thank you very much for coming on. Definitely. How is it, how is it, how is it that none of us said the most easiest variant there was? Nick exactly. Foley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be an Nick easy Foley. one. That's I, I, that, was my, that was my first thought, and I was like, no, nah, those guys are going to say him. It's good. <laughs> no, nobody said it. But So, again, let us know your top three Tuesday. Let us know what you think, what you hate, what you like, what you want to see more of, who you want to see as a future guest. And, again, if you are a wrestler and you want to come on here, because that's my next goal. We've got a regular Joe and Jason that came on the show. No offense. 
So if you want to come on the show, if you are an indie wrestler, contract wrestler, anybody out there involved in the wrestling industry, I'd love to have you on. I'm sure Ryan and Nick do too. We'd love to have you on, talk shop, everything we can. Uh, and we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe, just maybe, Ryan Barkin. One day, maybe. We'll see. Not Ryan Crossley, Ryan Barkin. So that is going to do it for the Micro right. Brawl. That's going to do it for the Micro Brawler <laughs> broadcast. We thank everyone for joining us. On behalf of Jason, Ryan, Nick, and myself, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, on behalf of everyone, don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone, and God bless America. A few moments later. So I guess Nick was in a rush to get out of here, but Jason, how'd that uh, auction for the Steamboat Brawler go? Hang on real quick. I got sniped. I lost. You Who invited this guy on the show? Can't have these losers on here. Jason, man, I'm sorry. I don't know if it if it makes you feel any better, but I, I have yeah. some good news. What's that, man? I got it. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you serious? <laughs> Welcome to the-